Hey everyone, Devin here from American Aquarium. Thank you so much for tuning in to our video about dropsy, what causes dropsy, how do we prevent it, and also how do we treat it. Dropsy is the buoyant or swollen appearance of the body cavity of a fish. It either looks like it's from air or a clear liquid building up. Know that dropsy is a symptom. Symptom meaning that it has multiple different causes. So we wanna look for those causes to know how to treat. The two main causes of dropsy would be either an internal bacterial infection or osmoregulation issues of the fish. The bacterial issues of dropsy would be caused from cleanliness and keeping parameters up to par. The osmoregulation side of the issue would be caused from poor food or a lack of mineral in the water column. Areomonas bacteria is usually the cause of this infection, so maintaining good circulation, aeration, and overall good tank hygiene goes a long way in preventing dropsy. But it's also a necessary part in treatment, so we have to have these things in order to have a successful treatment. Or you could have not as a successful treatment, or if you do have success, the fish is likely to have the issue again because they're being re-entered back into that poor environment. The loss of ability to osmoregulate is due to a lack of positive mineral ions in the water and food. So for providing these things to the fish is important. We have much more information on osmoregulation in other videos, but also in the article in the description below. So take a look if you want more in-depth information on osmoregulation. Generally due to the cause of the infection, dropsy can be very difficult to treat if caught in an advanced stage, so we really want to make sure that we're catching it as soon as possible to have the best chance of success. Since the pine coning effect due to the fluid buildup in the body cavity, reducing swelling is going to be the next important step to a successful treatment. Know that liver issues are also blamed for dropsy very often, so but this can be very rare, but it does happen. If the issue is within the liver, treatment success is much less likely. Dropsy can also be blamed on egg impaction, swim bladder issues, TB, and costa, but years of experience have shown that the two mentioned before issues, bacterial and osmoregulation, usually are the cause of dropsy. So here's some prevention tips. Soak food so that air will not get into the digestive tract of the fish causing the internal area monis or swim bladder issues. Have good tank parameters at all time and maintain those positive mineral ions. Use antibiotics sparingly as they have side effects on liver and kidney long term. Have good circulation, filtration, UVC sterilization, proper diet, and keep up on water changes, but no more than 25% at a time. So here's the best treatment advices that American Aquarium has for you guys. Use a medicated bath with methylene blue and AAP naladin, or metronazole, or canamycin, or any sulfa-based drug. Baths with methylene blue should be double dosed and should be for about 30 minutes once to twice a day. Do not let the water cool down in the bath during this time. Antibiotics and sulfur-based drugs can be double-dosed in this bath. Use one or two teaspoons of sodium chloride per gallon in the bath and one eighth to one fourth teaspoon, know that these are teaspoons, not tablespoons, of Epsom salt per gallon of bath water. Then, as an intake treatment, use one tablespoon of sodium chloride per five gallons or one teaspoon, not tablespoon, per gallon if the fish can tolerate it. You can also work up to these amounts starting with less. Baths and antibiotics should be performed for about seven to 10 days and then reevaluated afterwards. For the in-tank treatment, use a wonder shell for the mineral cations. Treat the tank with AAP naladin for best success. We can also say that Canaplex and Neomycin would be a good secondary choice. If the, if the fish is still eating, soak the fish food in neomycin along with having the intake treatments. And then of course, using a hospital tank is best practice. The end of the treatment, you'll be using a medicated wonder shell as a follow-up. We do have other medication recommendations and strategies in the article in the description below. Do know that it generally takes 
a medication cocktail, so more than one medication to have success of treating the classic dropsy. I hope this information was useful for you guys. Definitely take a look at the information in the description below and our much in depth video and article library. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. Thank you so much for tuning in and your support. We'll talk to you next time. Bye.